Hi, Nuno. Hello. Um, the four players flown back from South America, um, is that the hope that they will be part of your squad on Sunday? Yeah, they are travelling now. Um, they will join us tomorrow. And then we'll see. Then we'll see uh, the reports that we have that uh, they finished the games well. Um, some of them play 90 minutes, Davids and Sanchez no, but what we are expecting is them to join us and, and then we'll see. Newcastle Spurs is always a big game, but they've just had a big takeover. Will the players be aware of this, the big atmosphere, 52,000 fans behind the team? Yeah, all the, all the atmospheres in the Premier League, uh, especially no matter who you play against, there's always the fans behind the team, but of course after the... Uh, what happened in Newcastle? We expect an atmosphere that that uh, is going to support them. At the same time, we have to ignore, ignore, and focus on our tasks. And it's up to us to to quiet the the, the fans. There's been quite a lot to talk about the takeover, a lot of controversy around it. Um, do you have an opinion on it? And of course, if if it goes well for Newcastle, there'll be another challenger to those European places. What's your thoughts on the takeover? I have enough. I have enough things to to think about, honestly. Yeah. Okay, um, Harry Kane. He didn't score for England on Wednesday. Yet there seems to be an overreaction when Harry Kane doesn't score because he's got a fantastic record for England. Do you think there's an overreaction when he maybe doesn't play as well? What's your views on it? Do you feel that sometimes? It's normal. It's normal, and and airy. Um, he's sure it's it's used to it, but we are we are relaxed. We know that there is much more than goals. Uh, what he does for the team, he's a fantastic football player, one of the best, and uh, natural goals will come. Thanks, Nina. Thank you, Michael. Thanks, Michael. Uh, Paul Belveston, PLP, please. Hi, Nuno. Do you have any other? Oh, you've disappeared. <laughs> Sorry, just uh, just blow his nose. I've been suffering myself. I feel a great deal of suffering. Um, do you have any other injury updates? Any any more players out? Any players coming back at all? Uh, after the international break, there are always is issues that happen. But uh, we have problems. But I will not. I will not say that before the game. How about the international break? I know you lost virtually all of your players, but the few that stayed. Uh, with you. Did, you, did you have any little successes? Are you are you noticing players who are doing things automatically coming into your way of thinking? Was there were there any sort of breakthroughs, light bulb moments? Yeah, we work really well. We work really well with a small group of players. We had the help of the of the young lads from the under twenty threes that give us a big hand to to increase the numbers, and we work really well. We really, really well. I don't know it's by no means the biggest milestone a manager's looking at. You, you pass 100 days in charge over the international break. I wondered how that first 100 days is as compared to, to what you were expecting when you came into the job. Has it been as enjoyable as you'd hoped and as challenging as you'd expected? When I joined, I didn't know what to expect. So I live day by day. What uh, what I can say to you is it's been hard, 100 days with good moments, bad moments, but it's part of the job. Yes, Newcastle. Thanks, <laughs> Thank Paul. Uh, George Cummings, please. Have you enjoyed the 100 days so far, Nuno? Because you've had to have a, you've had a lot of problems. Like I said before, George, I had very happy days. I didn't have so many happy days sometimes, but. This is life. This is football. This is what we have. Everybody has to be read to, ready to it. Uh, can I just ask about Steve Bruce? He's on this 1,000 game this weekend. Just an appreciation of of getting that far to 1,000 matches as a manager and your experiences of dealing with him in the past. Yeah, I, um, I know Bruce uh, along. I think we played against each other. In we were both in championships, so. We go a long way back. I have huge respect. I know him, and it's to uh, to achieve 1,000 games is is extraordinary. It's, it's I have to congratulate him. 
as a manager, he's under a lot of pressure at the moment. Can you, you got sympathy for, for how he feels? Or I don't know if that's the right word, but just explain how tough it is when, when your job's sort of hanging on the line like, like his is. That's speculation. I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen. What, uh, what I know is that we're going to play Newcastle and, and Steve is going to be on charge. And, and just in terms of Newcastle and, the, and this takeover, are you worried that they're going to be big spenders come come January and that, that potentially is a, a threat to where you are in the, in the European places and the places you're going for, that they're now effectively a super club? Um, I don't have any kind of comments on that. I have enough to think about. Thank you. Good luck Sunday. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, George. And Jack Pitbrook, please. Hi, Nuno. Are you happy that Lo Celso and Romero played all three games for Argentina this break? During the international break, is always these situations happen. Some, some, players, some players play a lot of games, some players don't even get one minute. And that is what uh, caused disruption. Because after that, when you receive them, some of them come very happy because they achieve fantastic things like, like Hugo did. Some of those come really sad, like Reg and Brian. Some, like you said, with a lot of minutes on their legs. Some just go there, sleep and eat. It causes uh, a lot of a lot of problems. But what's happening now is what we want is for them to return as soon as possible, like is tomorrow. Like tomorrow, some of them already join us. But it's always disruption, disruption. In, in the case of Davinson Sanchez, who flew to Colombia to just sleep and eat and didn't play for the national team, does that mean he'll be in a, a better or a worse situation for the weekend's game? On a different situation. Not better, not worse. Different. Okay. Thank you, Nuno. Thanks, Jack. And last one in this section, Jonathan Veal, please. Hi, you know, I was wondering if you could give us an update on Steven Bergvine's fitness. He's obviously been out for a while. Yeah, he joined us. He joined us uh, yesterday. He joined us yesterday. He's he's totally integrated with the group. Trained well yesterday. Trained well today. No pain. So he's about getting getting back to his highest levels of of fitness. But he's on on the process of it. Is the Newcastle game too early? We don't know. We don't know. We don't know because, uh, like I said, first of all, we have to be everybody together. Then we will we'll assess and prepare and decide. Thank you. Thank you, Jonathan. Thanks, Johnny. Uh, we will end the broadcast section there. So we'll go on to the embargo section of 10.30 p.m. tonight. If you'd like to raise your hand.